Hey everyone, quick little video here, little mail call and a couple of recent purchases. This may be a little shaky because it's handheld, but we'll try to make it as best as we can. Got some viewer mail. I'm about to shade that, there we go. I think everybody may know who that is. He did me a solid. Let's open it up and see what he sent me. Well, Everett has sent me a nice selection of drill bits. I'm going to be proud to use those, and if I remember correctly, I think he said some of these are carbides, so I'm going to have to get me a diamond wheel to do some sharpening, because I know I'll dull them. Everett, I appreciate it. It was well packaged, that's why I didn't show the, uh, the unboxing. It took me about four minutes to get the duct tape and packing tape off off that tube so I could uh, get the bits out of it. Once again, Everett, I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Everett also sent along some stickers to go with those drills. I got to get my channel sticker board up. I'll put those to good use and in a good place. Thanks Everett. Like I said before, I appreciate you. A few of you may recognize this next item. I'm sure you saw it on Amateur Redneck Workshop. I got a casting from Harold down there. I talked to him, asked him, what I asked him was if he would make, print out one of these for me, and I would use it on my drill press. But he was kind enough to print this out, and then go ahead and send me one that he had cast. So I'll be cleaning that up to mount that on my drill press. Actually, both of them will be mounted because I've got more than one drill press. Harold Waters, I love you, buddy. I appreciate it. Now for a few of my recent purchases. On Facebook, if you guys haven't been there, there's a couple of places. Let me get reoriented here, so I'm not casting a shadow on this. Um, I picked up this uh, NSK two to three inch mechanical digital micrometer. I love the mechanical digitals. I will be putting a uh, calibration standard on this. It lines up. Now, if it lines up when I put the standard in there, we're good to go. And you can get pretty good prices on there. Here's another thing. Of course, y'all know what that is. That's an edge finder. A couple of nice little pin punches. I'm trying to remember the name brand on these, but I want to have to get a my Optivisor. 
be able to read those. Now, I don't know who Fran was, but Fran was the previous owner, or one of the previous owners of this nice protractor. It's a Helios, made in Germany. Mr. Pete likes Helios. I do too. I've got a um, I don't think it's a dial caliper. I think it's a vernier caliper. That's a Helios. Of course I got a Mitutoyo metric scale. And an L.S. Starrett Imperial Scale. There's the number. Sixteenths, thirty seconds, or pardon me, sixty-fourths, thirty seconds, sixteenths, and eighths. Preparing to do a little better work when I get everything set up. I picked up a set of gauge blocks. Yep, they're from Shars. And they're in economy grade, but that's better than what I had since I didn't have any. And we can make those work. Once I get 300,000 subscribers like A-Bomb, I'll upgrade. Somebody will give me some. <laughs> and the other thing I got to go along on that line was I picked up a set of pin gauges from MHC. Got these at a pretty good deal. Got them off eBay. And the reason I got a pretty good deal is because the inner case is damaged. As soon as I get a chance, I'll be Gluing that back together. Get all the pin blocks where they belong. This is a quarter inch to half inch, or 251 to half inch. So that's something I didn't have. That I have now. Well, guys, like I say, that's some viewer mail and some recent purchases. I'll do another recent purchase video here shortly.